Okay guys, we're back with a new product review. Here it is the ITC308 Wi-Fi Smart Controller by Inkbird. You can use these for controlling temperatures like raising seeds, reptiles, grow houses. Anything you need to monitor your temperature and control it, this is the thing to use. They're about 50 bucks on Amazon. Probably put a link in the description where you can get them. This is your control module. Temperature up and down. The mode button. This right here. This is heating. This is cooling. So the PV, the measured temperature of what's coming out of the probe. The SV is your set temperature of what you want it at. This is the probe. It's got like a five foot cable on it. This is your plugins for the control to control things. This is cooling. This is the heating plug. It also has Wi-Fi control so you can control it from your phone. As long as you have a wireless router in your home, you can connect to it and control your temperatures of things when you're not home. You want to make sure this light is blinking rapidly. The device here says add device. So we're going to add device. We're going to do the ITC-308 dash Wi-Fi. I'm going to push that one. We're going to make confirm that it's blinking rapidly. We have our Wi-Fi and our password. This light will stop blinking and stay solid when it connects. So now we have the light on there that's solid. It says device is added successfully. And now we have the current temperature that the probe is reading. on here and we also have the current temperature and that's what we wanted it at so we can change the temperature that we wanted at by going here now it says app then it switches over so in this mode you can uh, change the high temperature value In this mode, you can change the low temperature value. Let's go ahead and make this colder so you can see what it does on the screen. It switched over. Now it's cooling. It's just the high temperature down to. And then the low temperature we'll put at like 36. Okay, nothing will change until you close this settings page. So now I've got an alarm going off. If you manually press this, it'll go shut it off. The beeping, that is. We can change this straight to Celsius by just going here. Every time it says app, it, that's when it's pulling its information and adjusting. Here we have a trending temperature chart. And here, there's more settings. You can share the device. Oh, so now if you look up there, 
I have a warning on my phone that says low temperature, telling me to check it. So then it'll open the app up, but it seems the app was open already. It didn't open it. So add multiple devices. Go ahead and do that. Since I have two of them. And there it went. Now that one is connected. Also, it's been added. So we're done. And now we have control over this second one. So we're going to control that one. And same thing. <clears throat> so there's the review on the Inkbird ITC-308 Wi-Fi review. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see how to hook these up into an enclosure, I will be hooking them up into a domestic beetle colony. Check out those other videos. I will post a link in the description.